Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Terry Harrison. Today I'm going to show you how to paint some country landscapes. The drawing's complete. The next stage is masking fluid. Dip the brush into the masking fluid and just mask off uh, some flowers. I've masked off the, the gate and a fence, some more flowers in the hedgerow. And we have some cow parsley here. So just mask off the flower head that so just very quickly do that. When the masking fluid has dried the next stage is the sky. So I'm going to use this uh, large brush called the golden leaf brush, some clean water, make sure there's no paint in the brush and wet the sky area with some clean water. Some ultramarine paint in some clouds so over the, uh, the trees so while it's still wet just drop the colour underneath the clouds just for some shade like that and put that in more so you get a, a stronger colour in the foreground. So bring that down and out of the bottom of the painting. And while this track is still wet, just very lightly paint in some tracks, some cart tracks. Place the, the mask on the horizon and you stipple along the edge of the paper. Go up, down, for some trees, like that, in between the gap. Continue the line, like so, out of the painting. Change the angle, stipple, dark underneath, Bit of shade onto that uh, hedge there. Up a larger tree here in front of the farmhouse. So just stipple that in. Like so. So big brush. Going to use uh, raw sienna. So just wash in the raw sienna. Fairly light, similar colour, well the same colour on the other side. This is just to uh, give a coloured background, bring that down a bit. And just change the colour slightly, some burnt sienna. So it's a, a reddish mix this time, and drop that. into the field there and just leaving that light along the hedgerow. Then some sunlit green onto the edge of the field so just touch that in. So it's bleeding and mixing with the raw sienna on the left hand side there but where it goes over the track which is dry it pretty much stays put. Sunlit green, stipple, some raw sienna, just change the colour slightly, out of the picture. By stippling with the foliage brush it creates some detail and texture. Using the half rigger, some midnight green, just a touch of burnt umber, start to paint in the tree trunk and some branches. Don't have to go into too much detail because I'm just going to paint over this in a moment. So just put the hint of uh, some woodwork. So the tree trunk and the branches going out to the edge of the, the tree. So the, the foliage on the trees, I'm going to paint with the foliage brush. 
So the sunlight's coming from the uh, from the left through to the right, so the, the sunlight is going to be on the left hand side. So sunlit green. Pick the colour up, push the brush into the palette so it opens the brush up, and just gently stipple with the light colour first. Then with some midnight green, try it out, and just put the shady part of the tree in on the right hand side. And just paint over the fields and hedgerows in the background. And this dark colour will be at the back of the building, so start to mask off the, uh, the building. We now move on to the, the farm building. Um, I'm going to start with some burnt sienna, which is a, a, a reddish terracotta colour. Put that onto the... it's just a part of a roof there. And the front of the building. So this is a light colour to start with. Now for the, for the main roof, I'm going to start with some uh, burnt sienna. It's just a little bit stronger. Down over the greenery. Around the tree. And just painting that little bit there. But while that's still wet, I'm going to use the colour shadow. I'm going to drop the shadow colour into the wet. Like that. Let's just paint that in. With some shadow. Drop that in wet into wet, so it makes that darker. Um, some burnt sienna, a little bit lighter. Comes down and the side of the building. Just get rid of that white. Right, just make sure the uh, the paint is dry. <laughs> so if you all do this, you check to see if the paint's dry. So what's the thing you do? Touch it with your fingers. A top tip, don't do that. <laughs> So rub with your fingers and it just peels off. Flowers in the background. So not too strong. Wash that over the woodwork so you get rid of the white. that. So one colour. So with some sunlit green. There's a flower there. The darker bit is on the right hand side. There. Right on the, uh, the gate post. Some cadmium red. And drop that pale colour into the flower heads. Just a hint of blue. And drop that on the underside of the flower. Just a little bit of colour. Not too much. And there we have a country landscape with an open gate and a lovely Hampshire farmhouse and barn.